It's all good. 4-0 victory for London Spitfire. The clean sweep against the Paris Eternal. The smart play there looked like they were just going to hold the ultimate. That game was super winnable. It felt like we were just like got completely outplayed by London and played pretty bad ourselves. That could have really, like, really been ours. It's some key mistakes, and like we definitely shouldn't be making those mistakes at this point in the game. It was disappointing in the moment, but it's like you can't really let that get to you. So I'll move on straight away, not like, get focused on losses, just, just staying focused, not being down, like staying like emotionally well so you can be focused on the next game and practice for the next week. But yeah, it sucked in the moment, it really did. I really want to follow Defiant, like, I know, I feel like if the matches this week, you know, we could have won against Park, against London, we got followed, we got kind of stomped, but we were like one fight away from full holding two maps as well. So like, I don't know, I feel like we still could do so much better than, uh, than what we're doing, kind of. So I'd really, really like to follow Toronto. Toronto is quite a good team, they had some trouble in this stage, but they are still a good team with really talented players, so we clearly don't underestimate them, and we really have to take this one, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game, as they didn't play since two weeks, so they had the time to prepare, they had the time to scout what we did, so it's going to be a challenge, and uh, we know that it's really important for us to win this one and do a better stage than stage one of our war. A lot of people think that like playing video games for a living is the job of a lifetime, and it's, it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. But it's also very, very exhausting. Like, there's nothing like having a, a day of playing video games all day. I have that day go really wrong, you know? <laughs> like you're practicing and everything's going wrong and then you lay in bed and you think about it for two hours, you know? You're like, I'm glad I'm here and I'm, I'm having fun, for sure. But there are moments that like, you're not extremely happy about what's happening. It's hard. There's a lot of adaptation that goes on in the Overwatch League. So one day you could be super close, the next day like they might change something and you need like a second to adapt and think about that. And some maps are super close, yeah, for sure. But like, it's all about being consistent. Like if you look at like Overwatch as a game is quite random. Things happen, like stuff happens sometimes and it's super hard to predict. But like it's like shock, I think, are 20 maps in a row right now. Like you don't win 20 maps in a row from being bad or you don't win 20 maps in a row just luckily, you know? Like they're obviously doing something right. I think I can't be satisfied because I'm a competitor and I want to win. And even if I know that we are not able to win every week against every opponent because of uh, normal reasons, not related to our strategy or, our, uh, or the way we play and the mistakes we did, but I always want to win. That's my, the reason why I'm here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's nice. I really like the Watch League. Competing so often, I love it. Like, I really love competing. I really love just like playing against the best of the best. I think I thrive, I guess. I just really love live for that kind of competitiveness. It's, it's hard. It's hard for sure. But I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Come here, boys. What's missing? Is one missing? Closing time. Where is Sada? Oh. <laughs> You're looking at me, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Come on. Bless us. Congrats for our star, man. <laughs> I won't take a long time. I want you to go back in your bubble. We had a t difficult week. It's not a secret. We had a difficult week. We had to go through a lot of things related to the game and non-related to the game. It's time to show that we are able to learn, that we are able to improve from our mistakes as players and as teammates. I want you to trust each other on stage. It's just up to us to win this game. But we have to take it. They're on the NBA. Deep, yes. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Well, guys, on the bright side, you never felt it. You know, it was a sleep problem. They've adapted by the looks of things. Cruz wasn't going to last too long there. And yes, finally, the extermination is complete off the point. The Toronto Defiant take map one. Back and forth, we saw all three rounds. We saw multiple different compositions, but Toronto, they carry the no-nonsense style. The problem is the meta. Like, the meta is mostly good, so you have to play mostly good, so... Oh, it's going to be Paris to try and get one. 
DPS is good, but at the end, God is, God is always the best choice. Uh, why me, as a DPS, I have to play a tank? Like, it makes no sense for me. Of course, you have a ton of possibility to make comps, but the meta is meta. First, I'm just going to try and get some charge. It's very easy to do with these particular compositions. And then Graviton, no nonsense, just what we've come to expect from the Toronto Defiant. Looks like his mixtape didn't do too well on the rankings, and he's down. The Toronto Defiant, well set up. And that'll be another map. EMP comes out and connects with four again. Greg gets the transcend. An excellent response once more. However, it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. And he can't hold Gray for that one. He gets Neko on the backside. As far as exit kills go, that's not too bad to get your opposite number, but it's not enough to stop the Defiant. We have to play tanks, which is not really our identity. At some point, you, you, you have to play this kind of comp. You can't play DPS everywhere and do whatever you want with comps. You have to adapt to the, uh, the map and sometimes it's just better to play tanks. It's like a difficult work to try to find your identity, to try to, find, to, to play something different when all the other teams are playing the same play style, and also to master this style because you have to play it. One orb after another, unfortunately, not very effective at all. And the Paris Eternal looks so good coming into the foundry, but they're still not able to take the map away. Software is supposed to be a little bit, yes. As I, now though, the EP comes out, you get another rehack here on the Nico, so he can't use the self destruct. Come on out. I mean, that, that is an easy fight to win there. Think about how close Toronto was spawning here. They're going to be out of pressure now. Cloudy goes down. Ivy, Ivy's look good, man. He's look real good, and soon he's got no choice. Crazy stuff here. The Paris Eternal looked like they were well positioned to take this one away, but even the final map will be denied from them. Definitely not going to leave a good taste in the mouth of the Parisians, but the Toronto Defiant will be all smiles, returning to 500. I think we started to play too late. To play, to adapt, to whatever. I think we started too late. I didn't, I didn't see the spirit I wanted to see. I know you fought, I know you tried. The last map was good, last of win. This last map was good. One more time it was too late, one more time we were not on the same page when we played. And one more time if we get divided, we're gonna be worse. Two weeks ago, we had 70% win rate. One week ago, we were 65% win rate. Because every stage since we started, we get excited at the beginning. Everybody loves each other, we are a good team, we're good. Then we start into middle of the stage, we go down a bit. We, st we don't learn, we stop learning and we stop blaming. And then it's too late. So I'm frustrated for sure, and I'm pretty sure we can do better, and we have to do better. But I'm not focusing on the stage, I'm not used to rate what happened or to say, yeah, it was better during this period or better during this period or whatever. I'm just trying to focus on what we're going to do next, because that's the only thing that matter. Not thinking about what is past, but thinking about the future, because that's the only way for me to move on and improve. Are you ready, please? Thank you so much for all the support you guys give us. I'm sorry that our stage one and two didn't go as planned. I hope stage three will look better for us, but we'll keep trying hard and keep working towards our goals. Thank you once again for all the support. It really means a lot to us. We all feel it. It's really appreciated. Thank you. Hello, à tous. Uh, merci pour votre support. Désolé que stage one and stage two se soient pas forcément passés comme prévu, uh, mais vous pouvez être sûr qu'on n'abandonnera jamais. On continuera à travailler pour. Uh, Vous vous rendre fier et on, on reviendra en, en stage 3 beaucoup plus fort. Merci à tous et, et go Paris.